at the Empire. And we're back. Yes? May I help you? Is there a guest here named Jezebel Locke? Yes. Miss Locke is one of our more, um, popular guests. Why do you ask? I need a key. I can't do that. It's against hotel policy. Come on! I see. Well, in that case, perhaps I can make an exception. Here's the key to her suite. Have a nice evening. Thanks, see ya. Now, uh, before we do that, let's actually take a look at that book, shall we? This looks like a standard appointment book. 90504. Arthur Kilpatrick! And I can't get that scroll properly. Meet Arthur at his place in Santa Monica. Remember to bring the handcuffs and the orange jumpsuit as he likes to play Lockdown at the Women's Prison. This guy is sick. Vandal C. 7.30 at the Blood Bank. Bring pliers and the blowtorch. I can't remember if I mentioned it, but uh, uh, Vandal, the guy who runs the Blood Bank, is uh, Teresa's ghoul. He's actually the first hint that you, that you get to her being a Malkavian, because he's completely fucking crazy. Uh, you, can actually find, uh, you can actually find evidence of that on her computer, where there's like, there's like an email to her about it. Uh, and also apparently, uh, Therese really doesn't like being touched, to the point that she only feeds him by bleeding into a goblet. Now, moving on, 91204, David Hatter, room 413 at the Lucky, Lucky Star it, the Lucky Star in Hollywood. We'll actually be going there later. He likes that weird umbrella and water balloon thing. I don't want to know. Simon Milligan, downstairs in his room. God, I hate that guy. Jezebel Locke, question mark? New client responded to my ad in the paper. She has a suite at the Empire Hotel. I don't know what to think of this one, but there's something about her... her voice. I don't know. She's offering big bucks, so I guess I can't pay it up. Pass it up. 9.20.04. Paul Anderson. An honest-to-God date! I can't believe he asked me out! I'm so excited! And, uh... If you're if you're Nosferatu, too, obviously you can't talk to that guy there. He'll freak out. So you can just come back here and like steal the card from there. But we don't have to do that because we're good looking, super good looking with our with our one appearance. I can't remember which one to go to first. So yeah, there, there's only the two rooms, and um, it, it's pretty obvious which. Yeah, this uh, this is Jezebel. Let's get ready, shall we? Knock, knock! Oh, yeah. Who do we have here? Are you a believer, little morsel? Have you come for the kind of enlightenment only Jezebel can give? I take it you're Jezebel Locke? Yes, I am Jezebel. And I have such things to show you, little morsel. Such beautiful, dirty little things. Won't you come into my parlor? I think we're already in the parlor. Die, monster! You don't belong in this world! Oh, you cannot escape me, little morsel. One way or another, you and I will intertwine our beings on the way into the night circle. And I will send you forth, full of the sweet sickness I carry. I don't know what that sentence means. Right, another cult, another cult kook with an attitude problem. Yes. I follow the path of the Ninth Circle. Come and join the Enlightened, indulging your animal instincts until both kind and kindred lie spent upon the altar. Ew. Desire will be our truth. Desire in the death that follows. You're the only sacrifice tonight, Jezebel. What's with cults and never shutting the fuck up? As 
with most things, this pretty much just evolves into a stun lock fest. Yeah, that, I'm not feeling that. You were, you were doing so much better with the knife. Boink. No does, in fact, mean no. But I'm too stupid to read it. <laughs> As you are a product of the American public education system, this tome is beyond your comprehension. Well, I mean, that's true, but you don't gotta put it so bluntly. I don't feel like paying that, but I guess I will. At least it ups my persuasion, too. Now, let's see what we got. I've, uh, <laughs> my brawl isn't good enough. Wow, you really wish you knew what anti-disestablishmentarianism meant. <laughs> There's another free point in Brawl that we can pick up somewhere, I don't remember where. I don't really care, Brawl isn't very useful. It would be useful if we didn't have Dominate, because it affects your ability to uh, do combat feed. But we do. As far as I know, you can't fail a Dominate... Uh, dominate. You can't, you can't fa fail a feed attack if you do it from behind, unless you try it on a Vampire, in which case it always auto-fails. Okay, now on to Boris. Need to re-equip again. Da -da -da. Yep. This will actually be quite a bit more difficult to the point that I'm going to save. Because, um, yeah, bullets may not do much, but a lot of them stack up very quickly. Star emerged unscathed and apparently unfazed by his. Apparently, you can. Boy, do I have egg on my face. The studio is not pursuing legal action against Rivers for the trademark. This is the second crash Rivers has escaped unharmed in the last year. Actually, pay attention to that, it's important. Bad at the Surfside Diner left several dead after the attempts by the. Hang on, we got another book. For God's sake! You're feeding on too many teenagers. Go suck on a librarian. Maybe you'll be able to figure this out. Would be bombers were thwarted by a diner patron turned vigilante. Witnesses saw the vigilante run from the diner after they were alerted by the sound of gunfire inside. Yeah, that uh, that was another one. Believe it or not, the TV is actually somewhat useful as it will inform you of future events. Or times current events. Yeah. Ow. They're so much better shots than I am. Luckily, my gun is much better than theirs. Even if the ammo capacity does kind of suck. Yeah, we don't need to kill all these guys. In fact, we only need to kill one. We don't even need to kill that guy. But we're going to anyway. Because I said so. Turn around. And why, why, is the, why is the fortitude effect still on? The fuck? That was weird.
Hi. Steal your ring there. Come on. This will go a lot easier if you just give up. There we go. Got a lot of things to steal out of that. I'm not putting the gun away until we're out. I've learned my lesson. Gonna canvas the area for more things to steal. More people to kill. I'll, I'll take either or. I'm not super picky. We're already in there. That's a kitchen? No. Oh. Oh, got all our ammo back. And we're done. Yeah, you, you want a holster because um, the, the, the cops don't exactly like it when you walk down the street with illegal firearms. They, they get slightly upset. And uh, we are done here. Luckily, nobody notices that we're riddled with bullet holes. So we can just walk out like there's no problem at all. I feel like I missed something back in Jezebel's park. What the? Huh. Yeah, this game is buggy as shit. I can no longer promise that I'll be able to finish this LP just because the game might decide that it's going to be unbeatable. That has happened to me before couple of times. And there you are. Finished yet? Let's talk in your office. What? Talk in your office. Hear you. Let's talk in my office. Okay. Oh, hey, she did take the turnstile out. I got the feeling that was added in a patch, because I don't remember that, uh, I don't remember that being there. The unofficial patch, of course. Boris? Fairy dead. Is that Boris's blood? Guess we're partners then. There's somebody's blood. What I had to do over the years to keep this place open. You already told me. Your partner. Come in every few days and I'll give you your cut. Here's tonight. I've got some money to make us. I'll hold your share of the profits. Don't forget to drop by and scoop them up once in a while, hmm? You'll see me again. And often. Don't worry. Hi. Yeah, she, she's not interested in anything you have to say about improving the club. And, uh, yeah, Venus is one of the big reasons why money is kind of quaint in, uh, in Bloodlines. You saw that 250 we got. It doesn't cap at 250. It's 250 at, at, uh, set intervals, and she continues to hold on to it until you come back for it. I, rem I, I remember once that I didn't come back until, like, the very end of the game... And she gave me, like, two grand. Just make sure that we're capped off on everything. Yep. Sell that back again. I keep picking up pistols. Oh! And uh, here's that photo that we got. You could see why uh, we, we might want to just nick that. Also, I love that that's very obviously an in-game shot. Like a screenshot. Sell this ring. Hey, you want one of these books I'm too stupid to read? 
Vampires might need might not need glasses, but they do need hooked on phonics. Yeah, that right there is how you know that the uh, the fire axe is good. It's worth a hundred dollars, and when you resell it to someone that you failed your haggle check against. Now, it put it off no longer. Time to head down into the. This place is weird. Anyway, time to head down into the sewers. I'll just pause it until we're back there. You saw it in the video before I started this session. Okay, and we're back, and as you can see, this time there's no truck blocking the way. Said there's this guy. Who's there, huh? Old Bill can't see too good these days. Is, is that you, Fred? I ain't got no booze tonight, so you may as well get the hell out of here. Not Fred, Bill. I heard that you can't... That, did, 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 yeah. I think you can tell me why everyone is getting sick. Yeah, I might be able to. <laughs> but I'm awful thirsty tonight, mister. Could you spare five bucks for a man who's been down on his luck? Yeah, I, I think I can spare the five bucks. I, I, we don't need to stiff the bomb. <laughs> Thank you much. <laughs> Gonna have to go pick up some hooch <laughs> for medicinal purposes, you know. <laughs> What's wrong with your hair? I know you ain't going to believe old Bill because I've been telling my friends and the cops and everyone since it happened, and people just say that it's the hooch talking and nothing more. Huh? What? Sorry, I was staring at your weird hair tendril. Was a monster, you see. A monster with his face all twisted and ugly, teeth longer than your finger, and these eyes piss yellow and full of hate. I've never seen eyes like that before, still giving me bad dreams. So, what happened? But he grabbed me, threw me over his shoulder, took me to the bad place, the dark place. <laughs> oh, God, the smell. Worse than anything I've... And then he bit me. My neck. Oh, God. It was horrible. Don't remember too much after that. Blacked out and woke up here in my alley. <coughs> Haven't been feeling too well since then. <coughs> Sounds like Dead by Daylight. Never played it. How was it? up through the sewers he did just around the corner there <coughs> don't want to go back to the bad place friend <coughs> don't let the monster come back and take me there <coughs> bill stay with me everything's gonna be okay that's a bummer His hair is still freaking out. Anyway, I don't know what he was talking about a corner. It's literally right here. Now, I was concerned about uh, uh, about the, the Russian mob. I'm slightly more concerned about this. Now, the astute of you may recognize that uh, Jezebel was almost certainly a Toreador. You know, she had the whole like, presence thing going on, and it was debuffing me, and that was annoying. Uh, uh, I, I've also had times where she used celerity. I, she doesn't seem to do that very often, though. Well, the the other student of you, or who just played this game, can probably already tell that we're dealing with a Nosferatu. Now, what you're probably thinking the most, the most uh, intimidating thing about dealing with a psycho Nosferatu is... Is that, uh, you know, they're invisible. Now, that's not the uh, primary issue here. And there's Chunk. Again. Who the hell are you? What's wrong with your eyes? Oh, there, there, there we go. Hanker, they call me High Lord. 
sword in the diseased halls of the dead. Look around you. The blood. The bloated bodies. The maggot-ripped mortal shells. These are the signs. The coming of a new age. Oh, I see. Lost your goddamn marbles. The doors have been opened. The seals broken. And the final steps into the abyss. The terrible mysteries of the night. Circle <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep, keep going with the spiel, you wannabe bolly bastard. The Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle. The darkest dawn is almost upon us. Come, join us in these last nights, spreading our disease upon the earth, sharing this unholy communion with our human heart. <sighs> and why are you feeding on the homeless? Sick, hopeless. I bring them a new purpose. They are the vessels of darkness, carrying the diseased truth in their veins. Look, buddy, this is a time of great, uh, great civil unrest having to do with, uh, with, with health issues. I'm gonna have to put about 300 in your face to keep, uh, the YouTube bots from blowing up my channel. Join the disciples who have gathered here, floating in their own putrescence. I will show you the mysteries of our brotherhood as I feed on your flesh! Why is it that, uh... Oh, whoops. Yeah, uh, here, here's the thing about, uh, canker here. As you can see, not only does he use... Not only is he using, um... Not only is he using, uh, what do you call it? Not only is he using potence, he also has claws. They do aggravated damage, and they do a lot of it. Luckily, we have a lot of bullets. Yeah, that's why I was concerned about this. That and because the uh, water graphic doesn't exactly handle things well. And yeah, now now his claws will just float here in the air forever, uh, or not. 